Termites are tiny insects about the size of an ant. They live in colonies that may contain 2 million relatives. Despite their small size, they are extraordinary builders. In the seasonally dry, deciduous forest of northeastern Brazil, obscured by walls of thorny scrubs, is a vast landscape made up of ten of millions of densely packed earthen mounds. The findings suggest that the over-dispersed spatial mounds pattern isn't generated by aggressive interaction. The cone shapes are not nests, actually piles of dirt each measuring 30 feet wide at its base and twice as tall as a grown man, which are waste earths excavated by the termites when they borrow tunnels under the soil. It's unbelievable that finding an unknown biological wonder of this sheer size and age still existing. There are a lot of different kinds of termite mounds. Some of them actually keeps the termites cool during the day and a little bit warmer at night. A termite queen left and a termite king are displayed at the Chung Kyung Termite Control Institute on May 16, 2007 in Chung Kyung Municipality, China. Investigator approximation that these are more than 200 million mounds. These are covering a huge region approximately equal to the size of Great Britain. The amount of soil excavated is over 10 cubic km, comparable to the volume of Great Pyramid of Giza. The still inhabited mounds are up to 4,000 years old and so tall they can be seen via satellite. Therefore, this makes them the largest engineering project by an animal besides humans. These are the many questions still to chase. How termites colonies are physically structured because a queen chamber of the species has never been found. Some reports say the mounds can be viewed from the space. They can be easily viewed on open source satellite images, including Google Earth. Investigators have found that this colossal feat of engineering is the work of a tiny species of termite called Centaurum Taurus, barely half an inch long. These creatures have been building this landscape for the past 4,000 years, and they are all still present in the soil surrounding the mound. Roy Funch from the State University of Fira de Santana first saw these fields of mounds in the 1980s, when he arrived in Brazil as a Peace Corps volunteer. The map might allow the termites to minimize their travel time from any location in the colony to the nearest waste mound. These mound discarded earth have no internal structures, save for a single large central tunnel descending into the ground to meet a wide separate network of underground tunnels and thin horizontal galleries where the termites store harvested. In the night, the termite workers and soldiers emerge from their underground nests and onto the forest floor through small temporary tunnels excavated between the mounds. After their work is done, they return back to their nest and seal the tunnel shuts.